All right, guys, welcome back to All Rap No Cap right here on YouTube. So today, we're going to be talking about the top five influencers of rap in the past 10 years, okay? So that's the past 10 years, the top five rappers that has the most influence over the past 10 years, so the top five, right? So we're going to say Chief Keef right now. Chief Keef, definitely one of the most influenced rapper of this generation i will definitely say that like lil pump lil uzi like a lot of these rappers like the big name rappers like they might at this point might be bigger than keith but when it comes to influence if it wasn't for chief keith that wouldn't be the word thought you understand like nobody would have been saying thought nobody would have been saying ops like a lot of this shit smoking like smoking on your dead ops like all of that shit is chief keith the guns in the video chief keith Shooting the videos on host arrest, all that shit is Chief Keef. Like, Keef influenced the wave. Like, the new song J. Cole just put out, like, J. Cole just released a song yesterday. And basically, they call me the GOAT. Like, they call Chief Keef Sosa. Like, that's J. Cole saying that. Like, a lot of people say J. Cole, uh, Drake, and Kendrick Lamar. Like, they the three GOATs of this, like, now generation. Like, how you used to look at Jay Z and Biggie and. and Jay-Z, Nas, and uh, whoever, like, that's how they used to view, like, they view J. Cole and those, and J. Cole is speaking about Chief Keef, so, when it comes to influence, Keef, definitely on the list, okay? Keef, we, we, we might switch all of the list, but we're just gonna keep it going, right? Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like the video. Now, next on the list, we have Future. We have Future. So, Future has impacted this generation, when it comes to like, when you talk about Molly's Percocets, like taking drugs and shit like that, when you look at uh, the drug culture and the music, like Meek Mill has admit like he was on the future wave. Like when DS2 dropped, Teddy Spray 2, when that shit dropped, like fucking a lot of people went crazy. Like the whole album went crazy. So Future was on his shit. Like basically, he influenced like so many rappers. Like Juice World would say that. You understand? Juice World would say that like he was majorly influenced by Future. And like if you remember when Future was wearing the hat, like he was wearing the fucking the big old cowboy hat, like those big ass hats or whatever. Like that shit, like all type niggas, basketball players, football players, I saw two chains, like a lot of niggas was doing that stuff because of Future. And Future definitely has left this impact on this generation. So I'd say Future is another one. So that's two people we have on the list so far and young thug young thug so from young thug we have gunner lil kid lil got it you understand like a lot of these rappers sound like thug a lot of them sound exactly like thug and even like sometimes you have little baby records like he sounds similar to thug, like not all the way or whatever but like he has like a little bit influence on thug and a lot of people say but why yourself a lot of people will be talking about Young Thug, like NBA Young Boy and Young Thug, like he speaks highly about him. So definitely Young Thug is one of the most influenced rapper. Like when he came out, Young Thug came out right after the influence of Wayne, right? So therefore like after Wayne was gone, like Young Thug took over and like people saw him as the, like this new thing or whatever. So. I definitely give it to Young Thug. So he's another influencer of this generation, right? Now moving on, I already called his name NBA Young Boy. NBA Young Boy. So we're at four. NBA Young Boy, definitely one of the most influenced rapper for right now. Like for this, like right now, these kids that on for the future generation, like NBA Young Boy. NBA Youngboy has influenced a lot of rappers. Like, when it comes to sound, like, I don't want to make the comparison. Like, a lot of people might say, I'm trolling or whatever, but JD Youngin, Youngin or whatever, he sounds like Youngboy. Like, his swag, his whole demeanor, whatever, like, all of that stuff he does, like, that's Youngboy. Like, a lot of people say, that's his son. You understand? Like, Quando Rondo. Like, Quando Rondo, when he first came out, like, the that I remember joining, like, I was hooked on that song. I was hooked on that song. And like, Lil Wiz after that, like, I don't know what it was, but the influence of NBA Youngboy, like, changed 
Quando Rondo as a person, as a musician, like his sound even changed, like because of NBA Youngboy with the influence. Like NBA Youngboy is the most watched artist on YouTube. You understand? Like people watch NBA Youngboy that much. Like he is the most consistent. So we are constantly seeing NBA Youngboy. So Youngboy definitely right now one of the one of the artists that is the most influential artist. Uh, like Kevin Gates has a tattoo of young boy on him. Like Kevin Gates is older than NBA Young Boy and he has a tattoo of NBA Young Boy on him. You understand? Like that is mind blowing to say the least. Mind blowing to say the least, right? So now we're gonna get down to the last artist that we're gonna put on the list when it comes to influence and just overall and, and time. I'm gonna say Drake. I'm gonna say Drake. For the past 10 years, I'm gonna say Drake. I'm gonna give it to Drake. And this is why I give it to Drake. The singing, the singing in your raps. Like a lot of people gave Drake a lot of fault. Think about it. A lot of people were giving Drake like a lot of slack. Like a lot of people were mad at Drake for, hey, you always singing in your records, always singing like, if you remember like back in the early stages of Drake, like a lot of people were saying that, especially when Take Care came out and the album was basically their singing. A lot of people gave him flack, but if you listen to every single artist that I just called, other than Chief Keef, like with the singing, like a lot of those rappers, that's what they do. So Drake overall influence, like think about that, like, even other than those artists, like Young and Ace, like a lot of like a lot of rappers, like that's all they do. They sing. And then when it comes to like switching up styles, like I remember like somebody's like Drake has a new accent or whatever. Like Drake switched up, like he shows artists like you can switch it up. Like controller, like Tiger did like a fucking a very like a reggae mix of a song. You understand? Like Chief Keith. Had a like a mix of a song, man. It was like that Caribbean type of vibe or whatever. Like, and that's because the influence of Drake. Remember, I said Keith is an influencer himself. So Drake had that impact, and a lot of people. I know you guys don't get down on me that I didn't put Wayne on the list or anything like that. But I said the past ten years, like to me, Wayne was like. 2010 like stop like his reign stops basically right there like influence wise like whoever was influenced during that time like they were influenced but like after 2010 like it's 2011 so basically drake future young all of those artists i named they came afterwards so that's why i didn't have win inside there you understand and like when it comes to influence like i gotta show up like a lot of People who are not on the list, like Kendrick Lamar, like he's not on the list, J. Cole, like they influence a lot of people. But like when it comes to like overall in the culture, the impact, the like where slang and everything is used, and like those things turn to like slat and all that stuff, like that's Young Thug, NBA Young, but like that's them. Like they influence that type of stuff. So that's why I didn't have those rappers on there. Right? So. Like, you can excuse for that. You can excuse me for that. Make sure you subscribe and like the video. But you guys can excuse me for that or whatever. But, like I said, we're overall in influence. Chief Keef, Future, Young Thug, NBA Young Boy, and Drake. Like, I don't see in the past, like, those, they have the most influence that I've seen. You understand? Like, they have the most influence that I've seen. And... A lot of people, oh, what about Travis Scott? Like, Travis Scott is a good artist. He's a dope artist. But his influence overall on the rap game, I don't see it being bigger, bigger than Chief Keef's impact when it comes to, like, that's changing the way people talk, the way people rap, what they say in their raps. Like, when Fetty Wap came out, Fetty Wap was basically a fucking singing version of Chief Keef. Like, he was Keef couldn't sing. Fetty Wap could sing better. So that, but, hey, all that's like that's Keith. Like even when I hear a big drip and I hear a a a that like all that is Keith. Like anytime I hear that, like Keith was the first one with the A flow. 
Just saying. So overall, impact. Those are the top five. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. All wrap, no cap, right here on YouTube.